Let's face it, everything is possible for micro brands nowadays because of advanced technology, because of the easy access to that technology. But question now, can they really handle it? Welcome to Caseback Watches, my name is Tim and in this video our topic is Straum watches from Norway and they are Ophav, no Ophav, Ophav is the correct pronunciation I think and it means origin, origin and they told me or they have on their website also that they took their inspirations from their home country so the nature of Norway especially the ice and I wasn't overly impressed by that. I wasn't overly impressed because we all have heard such marketing stories that you have a micro brand and they are very inspired by their surrounding basically and you think ah oh, nice story but is it really true and does it lead to something something special and then I snooped around a bit and I found some people who really like their strong watches and I, then I thought there must be something in it and so let's give it a go. I was in contact with, with Lasse from Strong Watches from Norway and he sent me, thank you very much man, he sent me three samples here. The green one, the blue and the black dial so I can, you, can present you all three. I think there's also a white one available but never mind I have the three most spectacular of those of those watches here in the studio and I will show you those pieces in the light box in a second but as always little invitation in case you're new here every Friday I do these longer videos with watches in the studio and then every Monday it's time for watch of the week brief reviews of recently introduced timepieces and now let's carry on with the Straum Ophav. There, there you go Ophav. Okay, and here we are with the first watch. This is the piece I'm wearing right now, just a personal choice. I really like this blue and I was wearing a blue shirt and so yeah, I picked this one here. Let's go over the measurements first. We have a case diameter here of 41 millimeters. Length, lug to lug is 46.5. Height is 11.5 and the lug width here is 22. We have a sapphire crystal on top see-through case and behind the glass you may spot the Celida SW200 movement. The watch is waterproof up to 100 meters and the price is 829 euros. This, these translate into I think about 860 US dollars. It comes on a strap, fine leather strap, although with a rather chemical smell and with a bracelet option, so there you can choose. And what's of course very special here is the dial. And first, when I saw images, I was a bit concerned. Can these dials convince in real life under sunlight or under, under artificial light? Or let's say without Photoshop? This was the big question here. And simple answer, yes, they can. Absolutely. I've worn this piece here uh, in the room, outside, and sometimes it really makes boom when the light hits this structure. This structure is extremely deep and I don't mean the measure, meant the deepness of, the, of, of these waves here. I mean the color spectrum. You have everything in it between very dark blue and very bright blue. And so a lot of differences in saturation and color. And this gives this rich and deep look you may see here. I don't know to be honest if this is now the look of a glacier or an ocean but there is something from nature in it, absolutely. And it underlines here the, the, the legibility, of course, of the watch. You see these bright hands and the indices, very simple, very pure. This is one thing I really love. I mean, imagine that watch with a lot of writing on top. This would be not very nice. And here you have only logo, brand, Swiss made and automatic. And what also is pretty, yeah, pretty impressive, I must say, is the finishing of the case. You have brushed surfaces here, high polished, and of course you have this impressive case bag. Amazing thing. And very special is also the wide strap. The pure lug width here is 22, but the strap is a bit wider and has this, I don't know to call this, to be honest, but it looks pretty neat. Yeah, so very, very nice thing. And you may notice the crown. Also well done, fits the style of the watch. Operating, I will not bore you now um, very long with operating the watch. I mean, we all have seen a Celita in action. And so there is one position 
Oh, yeah, ghost position, excuse me. There's a ghost position because this is a no date version. Position two, there you can set the hand. Feels okay, feels feels solid and, and yeah, let's say feels normal. And now let's discover the other, the other colors. This is interesting because now we can see how the light plays with the same structure, but with other colors. See this here, this is not only one bright green and one dark green, there are a lot of steps between those, those colors and this gives this rich and lively, lively impression here. Same thing with the legibility. You have a lot of contrast and so it's very easy to read the time. I also like the second hand here. With this little element on top and so very nice. And yeah, what's better? Don't ask me. I like this more, but I think this is a sheer matter of taste. And now let's check out the black one. The black one here, I think is a bit weaker bit weaker but when you like your black dyes this you might find this impressive but although you now it looks a bit like some lunatic surface like moon surface here wow a bit spooky this dial here looks a bit spooky this very yeah grabbed from nature in my humble opinion the green uh the blue one is the the most attractive, but uh, yeah, it's hard to tell, hard to tell, right? And so overall, very impressive pieces. And what I like also is that the, um, the attention to detail when it comes to polishing here. Sometimes with smaller brands, you have round edges, extremely round edges or very sharp edges, which can ruin your furniture or your your pockets or your trousers. And here it's just, yes, it's, it's, it's defined, but it's it's not scratchy in any form it's just round and nice and now let's put it on the wrist the blue one and there we are technically 41 millimeters um, are too big for my 17 centimeter wrist as you may see but it's i think it's wearable because the the length of the watch the watch is relatively short it's not this 48 millimeter longine thing here we have only 46 or only let's say we have moderate 46.5 millimeters which makes it wearable see this so if you have a smaller wrist it's possible but you have to try it out but see the dial combination with the with the shirt just nice it, yeah it's just a nice watch it breaks with many traditional uh, you know, beliefs but I must say it's a just just a nice and impressive watch and so I will keep this watch here a couple of days more. <laughs> I will tell them it's what well, very, very, very difficult to edit this video. It takes more time than expected. Yeah, and now let's go back. And now I have some good news from the shop. I always wanted Cordovan in the shop because then you can, can say, well, I have this small online shop with leather goods and then people will ask you, do you have Cordovan? And then you can say, of course I have Cordovan. I have wallets with Cordovan and now watch straps with Cordovan. To be honest, it was a bit of luck. The company that produces the case back number one watch strap, which is um, pretty successful, I have the pleasure to, to state here, they produced without having a special client, a small edition of super, super high-end Cordovan straps, vegetable tanned leather, cognac finish, handmade in Germany, and, and sturdy to the last detail, really made to last. And I could grab some of those straps for case back watches and now I can offer you those fine straps in 20 millimeters at a very reasonable price for this product. And fun fact, you don't make much money with Cordovan or not more money than with regular straps because they are so pricey or even wholesale. But it's just nice to have them. It's just nice to have them. Check out the description. There you find a link in case you want to have your Cordovan strap. And in case this works, then I try to order more, but I think there are not more. So I have to order an addition, especially for case back watches, which will take up to eight weeks, I'm afraid. Yeah. Okay, and that's all for now. If you want to have your sneak previews and updates, then please follow me on Instagram, caseback underscore Tim. And now let me thank you very much for your attention and until next time.